And welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm beginning a bit piece of the puzzle, aren't I? And welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Michaela Loves. Hold on. Uh oh. Michaela Loves Gymnastics. How are you guys doing today? Um, happy Monday. Happy. New Year, happy January 25th. Can y'all believe it's been a whole month since the holiday season has done past, child? And we are already almost into February 2021, child. And speaking of the date, let's get into something, a conversation I really want to have on this channel. It's very deep. It's twofold. It's twofold. So it's two conversations in one. The first conversation is, are we treating COVID-19 in the gymnastics community the same way that we treat the sex abuse scandals? Now, I know y'all thinking, Michaela, gosh, how the hell did you even come up with that? Like, how do those, these two things even fit together in the same sentence? Well, let me tell you how. With the sexual abuse scandals, we as the gym fans, we as the gym internet knew for years. We didn't know the death. We didn't know who was involved. But we knew for years that some kind of abuse was going on within USA Gymnastics. Now, again, we didn't know who were the victims of the excuse. We didn't know which coaches were the victim of the excuse. We just knew that lots of coaches had lots of reputations for doing lots of horrible things to these young girls. And as a gymnastics community, we sat up here and said, our love for the sport, us wanting to see competitions, us wanting to see girls win gold medals, us wanting to see the Team USA win the Olympics or whichever team that you so happen to um, cheer for and root for. And I truly think that we as the gym fans put... Our love, our desire, our need to watch the sport ahead of the safety of the athletes. And I think we're doing the exact same thing when it comes to this COVID-19 situation. Yes, it would suck if they had to cancel the Olympics or if they had to cancel the rest of the NCAA season. But first of all, it seems very inevitable that all of these things are going to happen. But secondly, we as the gym fans are putting our love for the sport, our need to watch the sport, our need to critique the sports, our need for gymnastics competitions to come back ahead of the safety of the athletes. Imagine how easily COVID will run rampantly in the Olympic Village. We're not even talking about the fans. We're not even on, we're not. How long would you need to create this Olympic bubble if you want the best and brightest of of the athletes to attend? Like, would they need to start being put in this Olympic bubble now? Could we even hold the Olympic Games safely? Could we even hold nationals safely? Could we hold trials safely? Could we hold any of these things safely? And the answer is no. Not right now. Not the way COVID is going. And I, and I just feel like us as the gym fans in hell, I'm speaking for myself as the main example. We are treating this COVID-19 situation the same way we do these sexual abuse scandals, which is I'm grown. I want to see y'all flip so y'all motherfuckers better find a way to motherfucking flip. Or else. Or else. And it's just not right. Now, part two to this conversation is, this is a little bit scandalous. This is a little bit, but these are just my opinions. I'm going to say this again. These are just my opinions. UCLA 
I can't even be mad at y'all because y'all just doing what y'all supposed to do. But um, if y'all want to make a routine go viral, it should have been Mars Vogue routine from two years ago. Uh, I'm not saying that anything is wrong with Nina Dennis routine, but it's so much propaganda. And <clears throat> once again, UCLA, you guys are making yourself out to be the better option, the better alternative. Black girl. What did y'all say? Black girl excellence or black excellence or something to that effect to make Nina Dennis for routine go viral? Is that some bull? We all know that UCLA is not the exception to the rule. UCLA, especially on the Coach Val, was the exact same program as every other elite and collegiate system. You just put a nice little ribbon, ribbon and bow around our program, and it makes everybody believe that y'all are somehow this different standard of a program when you guys are the exact same program. If a routine deserves to go viral this year, it's definitely Trinity Thomas out of Florida. I just don't. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. We gonna go here. I'm sorry for y'all UCLA fans. Don't like, subscribe, comment. If you are UCLA gymnast or former gymnast and y'all gonna watch this video, these are just my opinions. Take this with a grain of salt. UCLA, y'all got so much more shit to worry about than, than somebody going viral, right? Your program is slowly but surely becoming Romania. You're slowly but surely deteriorating. And I don't know if Chris Waller is the guy. I don't know if Chris Waller is the guy to save the program. Um, you guys used to be very strong on ball, very strong on floor. And it used to be a very well balled floor, bars, beam. But you guys don't have Felicia Shana, Felicia Osh. Y'all don't have Fish, y'all don't have Kylie, y'all don't have Caitlyn, y'all don't have Maddie. I don't have a lot of girls that y'all used to have bringing these big scores. Instead of having Nina go viral on a floor team, how about working her your chicken one and a half off? How about instead of trying to make Mars routine or create a routine surrounding Mars to go viral, how about teach her a, a a gymnastics series on beam that she's guaranteed to get credit for every time. Girl, flatly. You have so much talent and so much future talent coming to UCLA, UCLA that it just baffles me that now it's like the whole program, the whole goal is not to win the season, it's to have a routine go viral. UCLA, y'all better than that. Y'all need to cut. Stop this. Let the fans, let us tell you when a routine should go viral. Stop forcing viral shit down our throat. Let us tell you when a routine deserves to go viral because we would share the hell out of that shit. Nina's routine, which is good, does not deserve to go viral. I'm sorry. She's... It just doesn't. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. But those are my opinions, and just my opinions. So please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Gymnastics Love. And I'll check you guys in the next episode of Michaela Loves Gymnastics. Have a great day, everybody. Mwah. <laughs>